control of the game, but I just want to make a different form. Uh, make it work the whole 48 minutes, and uh, hopefully good things happen. You have earned him yet. I, I guard him a little bit during the season, a couple switches, but I never like had to guard him uh, for a long period of time. James, how did you see your games evolve from this last year? I mean, you went from you know being on, stuck on the bench, now you're starting, you know, in these huge playoff series. Uh, I think my game changed a lot. Uh, uh, I saw a role that I could play, uh, which was uh, being able to switch out on the screens and uh, on defensive end and uh, just uh, crashing the boards on offensive end and, and trying to score around the basket. That's something. So I tried to, this time I tried to hone in on that. Uh, I got my body ready to, to uh, be able to handle that, and uh, it's been paying off for me. Uh, I think coaches, coaches trust me, uh, and the players trust me, and uh, I'm just trying to, be, be, trying to be able to try to deliver. And how rewarding has it been for you getting now these minutes to starting and going up against you know in these pressure packed situations here? Uh, it's been great. Uh, uh, I've been, I've been taking pride in, my, in myself being a defender, and I got a chance to guard some of the best players each round. And uh, I think I've been do, doing pretty well. And uh, uh, so it's, it's, been, it's been great. Uh, you know, early in the season, uh, I wasn't playing as much. And, uh, there was times where I was inactive. And to now be here, I uh, started the last few games of the Western Conference Finals. It's been an amazing feeling, and uh, it really shows the hard work pays off. And when you're going through a stress like that where you're inactive, who, who, who mentors you? Like, what's, who's been some of the better ones that have, like, you say, hey, man, keep your head up, you know, you're going to get your chance? Uh, I'm, I remember uh, there was one time uh, Draymond came to me in, in a locker room. I don't know, he might have got, got ejected or a tech <laughs> or something. But he, he might have heard of something. But he told me uh, in, in, uh, in the locker room, it's funny how this, how this league works. Uh, your opportunity always going to come back to you. And uh, when it comes, you just got to uh, go 110% and just take full advantage of it. And uh, that's something that Steve always preached to me. Something he told me, and, and something that Andre always talks to me about. So uh, I try to be ready every time my number has been called on, and it's been working for us. That's something a model of our team. For me, to JB, to Zaza, to D West, uh, to Javale. If, if Steve calls on me, you try to take advantage of the opportunity. Fun. You've had to be patient in your career with injuries from the start, and, yeah. and did you ever wonder if this moment, this this time, would come for you? And and how great is it, given how long you had to wait? Uh, yeah, it was always a question it was going to happen for me. Uh, I think I, I, played, I stayed pretty confident in myself. Uh, even though people told me that it wasn't going to happen, uh, it might not be on this team, might get traded, even might even get cut. Uh, but I always had confidence in myself and in my game and, and what I could do. I knew if I kept working hard and, uh, that my moment would come. I know on this team that Steve is everybody an apple, apple opportunity to, to, to play and make a difference. And I knew if I got my opportunity, I was going to take full advantage of it. So. Uh, for me to be here, I don't even think I, I dreamt of starting in the Western Conference Finals. Though uh, I thought that was a, a far reach before it to happen, due to, even though it was due to injuries. But uh, for it to happen for me and me be able to uh, fill in for Andre and uh, all my base fill in for the, for him missing and be able to uh, deliver and, and help our team win has been big. I expect your role to be largely the same 